Hi everyone, in this video I'll be helping you complete the Alex topic called Solving a System of Linear Equations with Fractional Coefficients. So the fractional coefficients are probably the part that's different. When we look at these two equations we see these fractions but that's okay because our first step is actually going to be to get rid of those fractions. And we can do that because we can multiply the equation by the, its lowest common denominator. So in this first equation, our denominators are 2 and 3. So the lowest common denominator is 6. If I multiply this entire equation by 6, then that would eliminate all of the fractions. So just to show you how that works, when I multiply this first term here by 6, since it's kind of like 6 over 1, we would get 6 times 1, which is 1, and then the bottom, 1 times 2, so we're getting negative 6 over 2. Well, negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. Don't forget that x. And then continuing the distribution, 6 times 1 for the next term is 6, and in the bottom, 1 times 3 is 3, so there we're getting 6 over 3, which is 2. Bring down the y. And then that last term out there on the right-hand side, 6 times 8 is 48. So we have eliminated all of the fractions. And we can do the same thing in this bottom equation. This time my two denominators are both 4, so I just want to multiply by the lowest common denominator, which is 4. Distributing that to each term, 4 times 3x is 12x. 4 times this next term, it's going to be 4 times 1 over 4, so that's 4 over 4, or 1y. I'm going to go ahead and put the 1 in there. And then the last term here on the right-hand side, we have 4 times 3, which is 12, and then 4 in the bottom, so that's 12 over 4, or 3, and of course the sign here is negative. So in our first step, we have rewritten by multiplying by the lowest common denominator on the first equation and then the second equation, both equations but now without the fractions. So from here, we can either do elimination or substitution. Either of those will work. Um, but since the numbers are pretty friendly, I'm going to go ahead and do elimination. And I'm going to eliminate the y's. So I have a positive 2y in the top and a positive 1y in the bottom. If I multiply this bottom equation by a negative 2, then I'll be able to cancel out those y's. So I'm going to rewrite the top equation. Negative 3x plus 2y equals 48. And then distributing that negative 2 in the bottom would give me a negative 24x, a minus 2 y, and then a negative 2 times a negative 3 on the right hand side would be 6. And the reason I chose this negative 2 was so that whenever I now add these two equations, the y terms are going to cancel. And that new term after I add negative 3x minus 24x is negative 27x. And then on the right hand side, 48 plus 6 is 54. So from here, I can divide both sides by negative 27. On the right hand side, those 27s cancel. And I'm left with just x equals 54 divided by negative 27, negative 2. So we now have half of our solution only half, we need to find the other value, we need to find the y value. And I can do that by substituting this x value back in to one of these equations and then solving for y. 
Uh, I could do it in the original equations, but that had the fractions in it, so I'm going to avoid these two guys. And I'm going to take advantage of the equations that I've already rewritten to get rid of those fractions. So I'm going to work with this second equation, and I'm going to replace the x with negative 2. So I would have 12 times x, which is negative 2, plus 1y, which is just y, equals negative 3. Again, here all I did was replace this x value with the x value that I now know, x is negative 2, and then I can simplify. So 12 times negative 2 is negative 24, plus y equals negative 3. I can add 24 to both sides. That will cancel the negative 24 and positive 24, leaving me with just the y. And then the right-hand side, negative 3 plus 24 is a positive 21. I now have both my x value and my y value. We found the solution.